wonderful greetings to all of you my dearly beloved sons and daughters how are you all today welcome back to another wonderful episode of the master stable we are going to continue today from where we stopped last week so i just remembered after you all left uh, last week that i'm supposed to ask you a question yes right yes ask away what question I was supposed to come back to you a question, right? And what, what question? Isn't it, mm-hmm. Megan? See? And you thought that I forgot. I didn't. I don't remember the question. The question what was, question? what was the question? Um, Do you know me? Yeah. Right? And the question was, the Lord asked Adam, where are you? Mm. Oh, I answered. I you didn't did? Answer. I answered. She didn't answer, no? She had did. Okay. All right. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, can anyone tell me where we stopped last week? What was our point of discussion? Why um why did Adam say that he is hiding? Okay. About the subject of nakedness, right? Yeah. So, so the two points that we realized was one is a knowledge and the other is innocence so knowledge brings a realization then this is innocence okay this brings us to a very important point okay so now this one requires deep thinking all right okay. are you all game for it mm-hmm. yes okay before we proceed we need to pray we need to ask for the lord's blessing and invite the lord in our discussion and who's turn is it this week last week was jamaima jamaima since you are her best friend so it's your turn okay heavenly father thank you lord for giving us this wonderful opportunity to come together once again lord lord as we discuss more about you lord let fill our heads with thoughts about you and like thoughts that you want to tell us lord lord thank you lord for always uh being beside us and always guiding us through these questions lord lord let today's um uh, uh session be very eventful lord in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. it will be very eventful if we all participate <laughs> right yes. okay so before uh felicia started praying i said something right What did they say? Knowledge and innocence. How come you girls are uh, have very poor memory? You all are young, you know. You all not you have not reached grandpa age like me. Yes. Hmm. So I I said this knowledge of realization and the state of innocence, right? it leads to another thing remember okay now i'm going to ask you a question and i say it requires deep learning ready adam sin what led adam or eve to commit the act of a sin what led them to do that One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Okay, now is answer time. Oh, curiosity. Curiosity. Jemima. The temptation to know about all the things in the world. Is it Jemima or Jemima? Jemima. Jemima. Which is the right way to call you? Jemima. Not Jemima. Huh? Yeah. Okay, Jemima. What did you say? Uh, the temptation to know all the things in the world. Temptation, okay, Megan. Um, I think it's because uh, the serpent told Eve that if she if she eats the fruit, she will become like God. Okay, so what is that? Um, so, what the serpent did was an action. Mm-hmm. So, what would would be the obje- objective? The objective is she what? She wanted knowledge. Knowledge, okay. Is the Lee? Yeah, I think it's temptation. Temptation. Mm. Okay. So, good answer. 
what was the object that was used for temptation what was the object the fruit of the tree fruit of what tree uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil all agree yes. okay so now my this is my question who created the tree of knowledge of good and evil god god right mm -hmm. not satan mm -hmm. agreed mm -hmm. all right so there was this garden and in the garden there were many fruit trees right apple orange and all your favorite durian it was also there hopefully no 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 durian was not there why oh by the way those of you who are outside of asia durian is a very very delicious fruit which most westerners don't like why they don't like not because it's not delicious because of the smell but anyway to eat this delicious fruit just pinch your toes and just taste the fruit right anyway durian it was not there yes or no true or false 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 so you're saying it was there right. okay true or false i think the durian tree was there it was there mm. so true true okay true or false the durian tree was there was there yeah. true yes i think it's true or so was there yeah so i am the only one who said it was not there so who's right it was not there why you should ask me why why ah you see you should ask why we asking we asking you must challenge okay why okay. challenge the answer mm. ah you see i'll tell you something okay during my years of ministry in tibet okay. i have seen how the monks they debate you know so in the afternoon session is debating time so they'll they'll be separated into groups say 10 in a group and they all sit in a circle and one guy stands up he comes in the center and he throws a question so the rest of the group must answer the question so suppose let's say i ask this question right so they will they will strike their hand like this now answer me so you are supposed to answer the question so by your answer the person who is asking the question will build another question based on your answer they'll say now answer this so the objective was you must outsmart the questioner so once you ask you say something and he's not able to an answer or ask a question he loses he goes to sit you come to okay the philosophy of this form of debate is to sharpen the mind that's the philosophy so i like the buddhist uh, method of debating because it sharpens the mind it makes you think and focus so that is also similar to the jewish way of thinking no a question on an answer is never an answer it's always a question a question a question a question mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it's like who came first the chicken or the egg <laughs> yeah who came first <laughs> anyway so the fruit durian was not there Why? <laughs> okay. How does the durian fruit looks like? Sharp, sharp and pointy. Thorns only came after sin. <laughs> <laughs> Thorns only came after sin. Thorns only came after sin. As a result of God's curse. Oh, is it really? Yes, oh. it's written in the Bible. Where? You never read the Bible? <laughs> I never read that portion of the Bible. Wait, wait. Oh my God. So, okay, we'll not go deep okay, into that. Fine. It's in chapter three. Okay. So, we'll not go into deep into durian anymore. Okay. okay? <laughs> anyway, so this is my question. So, God made all fruit trees, right? And among the fruit trees, there was this tree of knowledge of good and evil, which is a fruit, and the tree of life, mm -hmm. which was also a fruit, mm -hmm. right? So God said, "You can eat every kind of fruits from these trees in the garden, except this. Don't touch this, or don't eat from that." 
So my question now is this. Why would God create a tree? Because when the tree was created, the scripture says, and God saw that everything was good. Mm. So which tells me that the creation of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is not evil. Mm. It was good. Right? Yes. Agrees everybody? Yet, why would God say, don't eat? Free will. Free will. Free will. Why is there a free will when the tree was already made by God was good? Obedience. Obedience, free will. For what? Obedience and free will for? For them, as in. For them. To make a choice, yeah. Okay, make a choice. Just the Lee? Mm. I would say the same. I mean, I've heard it explained this way, where it's like in a relationship, because God does want relationship with mm -hmm. people, like there has to be a choice. Like there can't be true obedience without the choice to disobey in the first place. So um, I, I think that he put that tree there as a test also. Okay, test. For I sure. agree that it's a test as well. Mm. To choose whether do you want to follow God or do you want to go on, did you, on your own. Okay, I must... Want all you wonderful girls, not want, state a law. No copy pasting of answers. Okay. Must be original. Even if you copy, modify it. Change the word. Yes, modify it. Jemima. Uh, I think God wanted to see whether they were willing to follow what he says so that he can see how much they um, actually like. How, the importance that he has in their hearts. Mm. Have some biscuits, cookies. Thank you. <laughs> so, what's the right answer? Is the tree of knowledge of good and evil good or evil? Now, all of you say it's a test. Okay, test. Okay, fine. But is it good or evil? Both. Okay. So if it is both, then why God said don't eat? Since they, it's also good. I don't know. Mm. I'm not really sure. I'm not so sure. Either. Before eating the cookie, you were able to answer question. <laughs> After eating the cookies, you are not able to answer anymore. Okay. I will lead you all to the answer by throwing a little case study to you. Okay. okay? Now, going back to the same um, example that I quoted last week about two pictures of two kids. One is toddler, a boy and a girl, and adult, young adults. So, this time, we'll remove the girls from the picture. Okay. Okay? Just a little boy and a big boy. To picture. In the center, we draw a line. So this little boy is about two or three years old. The big boy is a teenager. Now the little boy sees the mother cutting some vegetable. So he asks the mother, I want to play with a knife. Will the mother give the knife to that little boy? No. 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 Why? It's dangerous and he's not ready to use it yet. Okay. So now to the other picture. The big boy. So he wants to cut something. So he goes to his mother. He says, Mother, I want the knife. Can I borrow the knife? Will the mother give the knife to the boy? Yes. He's yes. the same mother, no? Mm. Same mother, same knife. Only the age of the kids have changed. So will the mother... Give the knife to the bigger boy. Yes. Yes. Why? He has the maturity to use it. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. This is what happened in the Garden of Eden. God made the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which was also supposed to be given for Adam and Eve when they reached that maturity. Before maturity... They partook the fruit. Now they do not know 
how to discern good and evil. And now, in every good, we only see evil. We don't see the good. True or false? Comment. I said, with, with our understanding now, after having eaten the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, before time. Yes. Now we have gained a knowledge and with that knowledge we see evil in the good rather than good in the good. Comment. I think it's true. Justify. Because if, if you have reached the maturity to able to discern and then later partake of the fruit, mm. you'll be able to you know also discern whether that good is good. Mm. If you, and whether evil is actually evil. And if you haven't reached maturity yet, obviously you're going to see everything evil good to you. Mm. Okay. Megan? True. No copy pasting. Yeah. True. Huh. It is true. Justify. Um, because I guess when you, when we partake of the fruit, before God's appointed time, mm. we are not ready to receive what He has for us. And we are, in that sense, they have gone ahead of it and are not able to discern rightly. Hmm. Jemima. Actually, that's the right way, you know, mm -hmm. from the Hebrew. So we'll stick to the Hebrew, okay? Okay. Jemima. Don't follow the Western way. <laughs> Comment. Um, I think it's true because um, when we actually go before time, like following God's orders, then it's like we don't have the right mindset mm. and we will actually... Um, be blinded because the devil will then have the opportunity to blind you and put in his own visions of what is good and what's wrong. Yeah. So you won't be able to think clearly also. Then mm. you'll be wrong decisions. Yes, the Lee? Uh true, and I'll justify. So mm. <laughs> So I think like I agree. So it's anything that's out of without having a relationship with God first. You know, anything that's out of the lens of um, ourself can be tainted. You know, so when they went ahead and they ate that fruit, it just sort of solidified that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, since you all are very, very, very young, but I'm sure you all know a little bit of history. During the Second World War, two cities in Japan were destroyed. What were they? Hiroshima and... Fukushima? No, like, wait. 50% right. Hiroshima. Nagasaki, okay. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. Okay. How were they destroyed? By atomic bomb. Atomic bomb, right? Okay. Do you know the history of the atomic bomb? No. I recently I read the history. The person who discovered the atomic bomb originally discovered it for good purpose. Mm. It was like for atomic energy. And for righteous purpose, good purpose. That was how the original inventor invented it. But then, the powers to be. What did they make of the good thing? It was used more for evil than for good. Yeah. Right? So that's how our knowledge has become corrupted now, before its time. Mm. If Adam and Eve had not listened to the devil and partook the fruit if they had not done it when they had grown in the spirit and in the knowledge of God eventually God would have allowed them to partake the fruit okay now take it you, now you are ready you can have it right so anything that comes before its time is dangerous I mean, hmm. anything to comment, anybody? Is there any incident in your life, either your father or mother involved, you ask for something hmm. and they refuse to give to you? Hmm. While she's thinking, all of you will think. Hmm. Okay, let me help you, okay? 
you ask for something and they said not now you grow up first then we'll give you mm, one common thing will be the phone the phone yeah cause when i was in primary school the kids in my age they all brought it to school mm. and i wanted it but i didn't actually want it for the right reasons mm-hmm. so they told me that i'm actually too young to use it and i how you say you're not old enough for that yet So when I grew a bit older and a bit okay, more wait. responsible. How old were you at that time? When I was primary four, uh, around 11. 11 years old, okay. So how did you felt when your parents said no? Uh, angry? Quite upset. Mm, angry? Uh, yeah. Okay, then? Then I felt it was a bit unfair. Okay. But like, since they said when I grew older, I just thought, mm, okay, fine. Since I'm going to get it eventually, I'll just... Forget about it now. So when did you get it? When I was primary six. Just one year. No, primary four, primary six. Two years. Yeah. So you have, <laughs> you have matured in two years. I grew. I mean, I learned more in two years because the school taught us more about them. This is surprising. <laughs> A person can suddenly mature in two years. Okay. Say. Yeah, so like the school actually taught us the benefits and the oh, okay. and like the like the how you say how you misuse the phone. Mm. So the more I like learn, the more I realize why my parents say no. So when you were twelve years old, mm. when you eventually got a phone, you were able to use it properly. Yeah. You didn't misuse it. No. Okay, Jimmy Ma. For me. What happened in your life? For me, it was uh, more. Of Like wanting to hang out with my friends, mm. and around that time I was like thirteen years old, so my parents would be very restrictive, and they would say, um, "You can't go out as much as you want," and like they give me a timing to follow. Mm. So initially I was upset, but then over the years, um, I realized that it's actually good for me. Cause they actually wanted to protect me from things that I might not have knowledge of, like. The bad people that mm. might come up to me, so only when I turn like fifteen or like sixteen around there, then they started giving me more freedom, cause they knew that I understood the world, like the people and how to behave outside better. Yeah. So you and your friend both matured in two years. <laughs> This is amazing to me. I want to do a research on that. <laughs> All right, Megan. My business. Okay. So, um, I'm from the year 2012. Mm. I've been asking the Lord, is this the right time? Mm. But it wasn't. Mm. So until 2017, that was the right time. And so, what do you think would have happened if you had started at 2012 the I might, business? I might have lost uh, finances, and um, I wasn't. I think I wasn't ready to. Um, Wasn't ready for the world in that sense, yeah. So, ready in the sense of physically or mentally? Both. Hmm. So. So, after five years, what do you see? I see a difference mm-hmm. that uh, when you wait for the Lord, everything turns out perfectly. So you were able to better manage yes. your business, socially, physically, mentally. mentally. Emotionally. Emotionally, good. And now you have become a great businesswoman. Uh, by the grace of God, yes. Amen. <laughs> Esther Lee. I I know cannot copy and paste, mm. but my answer is the same as. All right, okay. Let me yeah. let me hear. Yeah, so it's the same thing about. Same uh, as who? Uh, Jemima. 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 Uh, mm. It's it's also having like uh, wanting to go out with mm. friends or like sleep over, mm. or even like take public transport. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that took about like. I could only go out. I think during first year of poly, so that was like when I was seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. So yeah. when did you first ask your parents? How old were you? Primary six. So that's eleven, twelve years old. Yes. So that would be four years of a difference. So now they allow you to sleep over with your friends. Yes. Stay away. Yes. And all that. Mm. So what has happened in these six years? Um. I think they trust me more now mm. to be able to discern also like who I actually want to hang out with. Yeah. Do you okay before we close? Yes. I'm going to ask you a question, mm. and I'm also going to ask you a question, and I would want you girls to ponder it, 
and i'm sorry you need to come back again next week okay can you can the question is this with the maturity and the experience now do you think you have matured to discern good from evil you see the evil you don't see it as good but you see it as evil you look at the good you see that is really good do you think based on what you have all said the two year maturity or the five years both of you five years both of you two years <laughs> was slow <laughs> soul mate was was slow was slow okay. one of no the the point is both of those who are two years are sitting together mm. the five years are sitting together anyway so during the two years and the five years do you think that you have matured to reason and discern the good as good and the evil as evil and not the evil as good and the good as evil so this is my question so please ponder on that and you who are viewing ponder out this question and give me your feedback you can write to me on the email id that you see on your screen right now and till we meet again next week god bless you all